morning everybody happy Monday um, a quick update so I talked to Russell Klein over the weekend and I had to ask him what shade my compared to if we were to go to a dentist's office I had some people ask me what the compared color or name was and they are a1 so if you go to the dentist and they have the chart of B1 a1 B2 B you know whatever it is it's the a1 it's the whitest natural shade that Russell offers I found out today that after I had a bone spur come out that I still have a tooth up here <laughs> that the dentist didn't take out. So I have to call them and find out what the heck's going on because there's still a broken off molar in the back of my upper jaw um, that's been causing me some discomfort. Um, I also am going to try a relining kit today to see if there's anything that will help my um, dentures fit a little better on the bottom. They're starting to loosen up a little bit. and. Um, I don't know that I need a full soft reline, but I do need a little bit of cushioning in there. So I don't really want to go through as much benzodent as I've been going through. So we'll see if that does any good. I'll try to post a video, but be forewarned, I can't talk with my dentures out. I am disabled in that area, I guess. I just uh, can't get any words out. Get a mouthful of cheek, I guess. Um, and I talked to Russ about cleaning. Someone had said that he told them to just wrap their dentures in wet paper towels overnight, and I wanted to see if that was what he recommended for me. He said that normally he recommends just using half the dosage of a the whatever cleaner that you're using. So if you're using the tablets, break them in half and just use half of that. You can do a denture bath or night soak. It's totally fine, but just use half the dosage. Um, I do use a stain away, and I do it once a week. So I use just a quarter cap full in there um, just for a 10 minute soak. I don't do it overnight. I don't, I sleep with them in. So I'm going to try all that with the relining kit today, call the dentist and see what's going to happen with that. But I'm a little bit frustrated that they left a tooth in there. Um, it's a little bit concerning on my part. Um, my confidence in them just sunk down a couple rungs. So, um, I've noticed a little bit of shifting on the bottom and it's driving me a little bit crazy. So I'm going to try this reline it and I'll try to post a video of it. But A1 is my shade and I'm really happy with it. I pretty much bathe in sunscreen. I'm super duper like fair skinned and I'm really happy with the color. It is perfect for me. It might not be perfect for everybody else, but it's perfect for my skin tone and um, I don't know that it actually go with a bleach shade just because I'm so happy with this one, but I don't know. Maybe there's a sunnier side to it. Anyway, having a little bit of a frustrating morning with the whole tooth situation and um, I'm having some issues with the dentures hitting the tissue down here in the area so that muscle's getting really sore down in here. So I'm not sure if the reline kit is going to fix that problem or not, but it's giving me a kind of a fat lip effect. Um, right here and I don't like that so I'm gonna hope that this relining kit works if not I'm gonna have to dremel down a little bit um, but I'll post a video on it later um, and see where to go from there but things are clinking around in there a little bit and I don't like it because I'm healing up so fast and my gums are shrinking um, so hopefully we can you know get that shored up a little bit because I'm going through way too much benzodin I don't I, it's too it's too much it's waxy and I don't really need that. I just need a little bit of cushion in there. So anyway, I hope you're having a great Monday. Mine started off with a bang, of course. And um, let's kind of see where that plays out. But hope you're having a great day.